Hey gang, in this video, I'm going to show you how to descale your Keurig K Supreme coffee maker using the descale solution included in Keurig's Brewer Cleanse Kit. The cleanse kit comes with a 14 ounce bottle of descaling solution that I'll be using, as well as four rinse pods. The rinse pods are super easy to use. About once a week, I put one in your, my Keurig and I run an eight ounce brew. And when that's done, I throw away the dirty water and the rinse K cup and run one more eight ounce brew of just hot water to flush everything out. This will keep my needles from getting clogged and my coffee tasting fresh. As you can see, the descale light on my K Supreme is flashing. So it's time to run a descale cycle to clean it out. First, I'm going to start with an empty reservoir. And if you have a filter installed, be sure to remove it before you start. Next, I add a full bottle of descaling solution to the reservoir. I prefer the Keurig descaling solution to other methods like vinegar because it's pretty much odorless. Then I fill the descaling solution bottle with water and pour it to the reservoir as well. The K Supreme has a descaling cycle that you start with the power off and then by holding down the 8 ounce and the 12 ounce buttons for 3 seconds. Not all Keurig machines have a descaling cycle, so check your owner's manual to see if yours does. The large K button is now flashing and the descale light will be staying on. Placing a large cup on the brewer and pressing the K button will begin the first brew of the descaling process. When the first cleansing brew is done, empty the cup of cleansing solution into the sink and place it back on the drip tray. And with the K button still flashing, you're going to want to push that to start the next cleansing brew. After the second cleansing brew, the add water light will be on. You'll have to refill the reservoir to continue. Rinse and fill the reservoir with clean water. Place your empty cup on the drip tray and push the K button, which should still be flashing to start the next brew cycle. From this point, to complete the descale process, you'll need to run multiple rinsing brews to finish cleansing the coffee maker. If the add water light comes on while running a cleansing brew, Refill the reservoir and continue running rinsing brews. Once you've used two full reservoirs of water for rinsing brews, about 10 brews or so, the K Supreme will complete the descaling cycle and turn itself off. When you turn the coffee maker back on, the descale light will be off and the add water light will be on. Once you refill the reservoir, you're ready to brew a fresh cup of coffee. I hope you find this helpful and thanks for watching.